beef or no to beef? That's the question. <laughs> Today we're going to meet Dario, Italy's best butcher to eat the greatest Florentine steak. Steak bigger than my thigh. Whoa. <laughs> the entire cow. Amazing. Mr. Taster. <laughs> Got to be joking with me. It's like T-bone plus ribs all together in one. Oh, that's insane. Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens and welcome to Panzano, which is in Chianti in Tuscany in Italy. And we just drove here. It was about an hour drive from the center of Florence. This village is beautiful, gorgeous views, vineyards, some of the greatest wine country in Italy. And of course we came here for the ultimate, legendary, famous, it's actually a butcher, uh, but to meet Dario and La Officina della Bistecca for a massive Florentine Fiorentina steak. Oh, the two guys in the green. Mr. Taster. <laughs> Jeffrey. Yes. We made it. We did it. Officina della Bistecca. Oh. Dario. I can't wait to meet him again. Pilgrimage destination yeah. for Florentine steak. <laughs> Jeffrey, you want to share a little history about this place? It was sure. a butchery, right? Yeah. Or he's a butcher. I mean, he's a straight up butcher family, right? Yeah, in a small butcher shop. I mean, it's so humble, the doorway, you can't believe what's behind it. Then it exploded and he built off onto the back just all these shared picnic tables and he became a global legend. And uh, this is it. This is probably the symbol of uh, Bistecca La Fiorentina. Very cool, so, very cool. Florence. And I mean, there's, it's just a small little village, small little town, so it's amazing to see what he's done and how he's just built an empire of Florentine steak it's all. from a small local butchery, neighborhood village butchery. Here we are. This is the butchery. Here we are. It's really an honor to be here. Dario. Hello, Dario. Nice to meet you. Mark Wiens. Yes. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Really good. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Taster. Oh, cheers. Some Chianti. So good to be here. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Come lei da qui film un mercoledì da leoni. The jolliest man. Yes. Jolly butcher. The jolly butcher. Etruscan cut. This is my special cut. Wow. Etruscan. Taglio etrusco. Wow! Wow! Oh. For your lunch! Oh. 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 oh, it's huge! Big, 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 big! To beef or not to beef? That is the question. <laughs> that is unbelievable. That's the size of a, a torso, torso sized steak. <laughs> to beef or not to beef? Today is to beef. Carne diem! <laughs> I remember, I remember the Metro Goldmeyer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Dario. Ah. Look at the size of these. The, Today, that's... my friend, is the meat. It's bigger Dang. than my thigh. A steak <laughs> bigger than my thigh. <laughs> Today, we are eating the greatest steak Fiorentina yes. with Dario. Etrusco. Etrusco. And also the Fiorentina. Oh, this one is Etrusco. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, oh, so this is Bisteca Etrusco. Bisteca Etrusco. Okay. How many kilos is one, one steak? So no, two kilos. Two kilos. Three hundred grams. Two, 
2.3 kilos. He's not my lady. What a man. He is just, he's an entertainer. He is so passionate. He's so, ha he's the happiest butcher in Italy without a doubt, possibly in the world. And he just slices the meat, the, oh man, the meat. So those, the meat, it ages for a minimum of 30 days. 2.3 kilos per steak. That's what we're gonna be eating today. Oh, I smell meat. Whoa! Wow! So, Ricardo, it's always whole animal. Yeah, yeah, all whole animal. Aged, but not dry aged, just aged Age to and increase and yeah. relaxed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is why we can use also some part from the shoulder to grill. Okay. Because this particular Every aging we do here. Every single yeah. part is used. Yeah. Nothing goes to waste, that's the entire philosophy. And every part of the animal is used in its best possible way. Oh man, just the entire cow. Wow. So it's been aged for 30 days, three days. Yeah, here's the counter. The age counter, 33 days. Five hours, 50 minutes. Famous Chianti bottle, uh, always in this shape, and uh, had this basket. Since this time, they've gone on to make all kinds of fancy versions, but this is the original way. <laughs> oh. Kime, oh. Kime, <laughs> torna indietro, riportali un attimo qua. We were attempting to go to the dining room, but Dario called us back. <laughs> allora, uh, la storia, la storia è questa, gliela traduci te. So the story is this. Eh, questo quadro è, è la mia guida. This painting is my guide, says Dario. Più di 400 anni fa. More than 400 years ago. In Italia si dipingevano solo immagini sacre e immagini di nobili, persone importanti. In Italy, the only people who were getting painted were uh, saints and, uh, and noblemen. Era l'inizio del 1600. This was 400 years ago. But this was, uh, this now ma, that we're talking about was the beginning of the 1600s. Ma a un certo punto cominciarono a dipingere i lavori. But at a certain point, they started also painting artisan workers. Questo è il primo dipinto in Italia ed è originale. This original here is one of the very first um, paintings of... Della rappresentazione di una macelleria. Of a butcher shop, representing a butcher shop. Con il vecchio macellaio e tutti i macellai. With the old butcher and his assistants. Il mio lavoro è sulla, il nostro lavoro è sulla sostenibilità. My work here is uh, a lot about sostainability. Sul usare, allevare bene animali con una vita felice. Raising animals well so that they have a happy life. Con uh, spazi liberi, eh, cibo buono. With wide open spaces and good food. Mm. E una morte dignitosa. And a dignified death. Ma eh, anche di eh, questo è la nostra re responsabilità. And, uh, and this I feel very deeply is my responsibility. Il rispetto è usare tutto bene dal naso alla coda. Uh, and that also includes using every part well from nose to tail. Come veniva fatto. Has always been done. Mm. La, il nostro ringraziamento Our way of giving thanks è di una grande tavola di convivio is to seat all of my guests at a big eh. long table dove state andando ora where you are going now dove tutti si nutrono della carne where everybody is sharing a wonderful meat meal and è nourishing la, themselves è la morte del dell'animale che nutre la nostra vita it is uh, represents the death of an animal that nourishes our lives è il nostro ringraziamento and this is my way of giving e questo quadro questo dipinto io lavoro sempre lì io questo dipinto è la mia guida spirituale and this painting it's like my spiritual guide as i'm standing behind my butcher shop counter it's always in front of me per non perdere la strada so i don't lose my way bravo mm. yes buon appetito wow. bravo <laughs>
This is Tomahawk. Tomahawk. This is Fiorentina. This is Panzanese. But this is the Etrusco. 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 Uh, sotto la spalla. Dario. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Mark. My what a, friend, what, Mark. What a man. Dario. <laughs> you are amazing. You're an amazing. That was beautiful. I don't think anything more needs to be said, but we are on our way to the dining room. Okay, and here we go. Okay, you go first. So we go through. Okay. Oh, the secret door in the back. Secret door in the back. Oh, oh. straight up 007 into the back, and this is where the restaurant is, up the stairs. You would never know what exists. Oh, here we are. Chianti. Oh, wow. So you walk in, on the upstairs is just a, a one single dining room. As, as Dario explained, his philosophy about sharing meal together, sharing the, the meat with family. Hello. Hi, Hello, thank you very much. Thank you very much. The grill is in the back. And our table is right there, right at the center there. This is Enrico. Okay. Rico. Hello, very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. Okay, here we are. Oh, yeah, it's toasty in here with the fire. A rare thing, rarely foreseen. Vegetables. Vegetables. Vegetables with the meat. Yeah? Uh, the salt. The salt. No, he said to add a little salt to the olive oil. This is Chianti salt. Oh, I can't wait to try a carrot. Oh, to eat more carrots? Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, of course, we came here for the meat and the beef, but come to think of it, I've eaten a total of like two bites of vegetables so far in Italy this trip. I'm excited to eat vegetables. Mm. Oh, the carrot is amazing. The carrot. So sweet and crispy. That olive oil, that salt. Lovely. Mm. Lovely onion. Our beef tartare, the number five. Beef tartare. Oh, man. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, so before the gigantic steak, we are beginning. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love this restaurant, and the communal table is amazing. No, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, but we're beginning with the steak tartare, and I mean, he said, uh, you can smell the aroma of the paprika in there. You also smell the lemon, the lemon peel within there as well. Oh, man, this looks like it's going to melt in your mouth. The freshest beef, the paprika. The flavor of the paprika. The citrus in there. They'll just give it a an added acidity. Oh. It's cool, it's refreshing. I love the coarse chop. Delicious. Maybe squeeze on that lemon. Mm. You immediately taste the freshness, the quality of that beef. I mean, this is the purest form. Next plate of food. Carpaccio de culo, and they prepare it like a lasagna. Layer of beef, salt, olive oil. Layer of beef, salt, olive oil. You. Oh man, everything is big here. This is a mountain of meat. <laughs> and the next course, I do know what culo means in Spanish. I guess same in Italian. <laughs> man. The same. Like a roast beef, just sliced, just only cooked on the outside, sliced thin. And yeah, he just like layered it on the plate. Just kept pouring on olive oil and salting it. Your taste, are you ready for that? Yeah. The carpaccio? Carpaccio, yeah. What? What oh a dish. God, look at this. Oh, man. <laughs> All right? Yeah. You ready? Cheers. Mm. Wow. Mm. Oh. The flavor, the olive oil, bono, eh? bono, amazing. Okay. Mm. I mean, that beef, the flavor that comes out with every chew is incredible. 
the smokiness from the fire, the quality of the beef and the salt, that olive oil, that's it, simplicity. And as Dario mentioned, we're honoring every animal at this table by the way it's prepared, the way it's served. Oh, yes. <laughs> bueno, bueno, absolutely need. Chianti. Easter. Jeffrey. Oh, you got Chianti. Chianti. Oh. What a pairing. Yes. Oh, that's the shoulder. Wow. The shoulder. See? Oh, number five, the shoulder. Oh. With the hands. Buon appetito! Grazie a voi! Carne! Toscana! Instant Tester! Mark! Mr. Taster, yeah. we have the shoulder bone number five on the chart, on the cow chart, on the steak chart. This thing is huge. Whoa. It's a two-person bone. Yeah. <laughs> you ready? Whoa. It's not a T-bone, it's a two-bone. <laughs> it's an oar. You could row a boat with this bone. <laughs> you ready? Okay. <laughs> mm. Mm. Wow. Oh, that one is tender. Yeah. That is really tender. And I mean, when it's on the bone, the meat on the bone is the most flavorful. <laughs> I know, that's delicious. <laughs> oh, it's the most satisfying bone bite you'll ever take. <laughs> Look at the size of that. <laughs> it's the size of a drumstick. <laughs> now we have some the actual meat from that, that shoulder blade. Shoulder blade is delicious. Kind of has a bloody taste to it, but really tasty. Um, man, I didn't know it was going to be such a well-rounded meat experience, like going from one part to the next. And there's there's no menu. You don't order. You get what's fresh, what's available for the day. Uh, but yeah, I had no idea it was going to be this full beef immersion experience about beef meat, cow meat. Next course is the beef belly, which has been cooked for 12 hours, not on the grill, in the oven. You can just see how wiggly, how how juicy it is. Oh man, that looks ultra tender. The beef belly. Oh wow. Oh, the beef belly, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. That melts in your mouth. The fatty juiciness is insane. Wow, that is so much flavor. That beef belly is unbelievable. Oh man, the flavor, the ratio of meat to fat, the saltiness, the tenderness. What is this one? This is the Pansanese street. Ah, oh, okay. Easter. Right, right next to the entrance of the main, the main mm -hmm. where they have all the paddocks and everything. Well, and this one is unseasoned, no salt. Nothing. Pass, yeah, just pure in. beef and fire. Amazing. It's very clean. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. it's really juicy. 
but I think it was too loud for me. Of course. It's something I didn't need to experience. Anymore. I actually really like it with no seasoning at all, but I will add a little bit of the salt. Maybe a little olive oil just to see how it is. Oh man, it is good with Dario's own salt. Or salt from Chianti. It's a bit herbal. So it's like a seasoning salt. What you have coming up next is the Costata La Fiorentina. It's a bone-in ribeye and it is... Uh, I think if you ask me if I prefer the Bistecca La Fiorentina or the Costata La Fiorentina, they're right next to each other on the animal. I think I'd have to go with the Costata. So let me know what you think. Wow. Man, back here by the fire, that is a lot, an immense amount of heat coming from that fire. This is the next course, and it's a big, big course coming up. They're so thick. Signore e signori, gentili ospiti, grazie di essere qui. E benvenuti all'officina della Bistecca! Yeah! E dopo un assaggio di tartare, carpaccio, panzanese, pancia e spalla, ecco a voi sua maestà, la Bistecca alla Fiorentina! Yeah! E ricordatevi sempre, remember... To be or not to be. Wow. It's for you? Wow. The bone? For you? Oh, sure. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Bacon potato. potato. Oh, excellent. Okay, before we get started on the, the next steak, though, we have to unwrap the potato from the foil. Then you add in the spiced pig fat. Yes, spiced pig fat. I thought it was truffle. Burro. Oh, truffle butter. Burro del Chianti. Lardo di Sueno. Vinegar, salt, rosemary, and sage. Okay, so it's kind of an herbal pig fat. Yeah. Herbal pig fat yeah. into the potato. Yeah. This goes into the baked potato, and then you're supposed to wrap it back up yeah. so that it continues no, to. No, no, no. Oh, the, and then it let it melt into the potato? Yeah. Let it melt into the potato. Okay. Now let's let that settle for a little bit. In the meantime, we'll get started on the next steak, the Castazzo, which is similar to the Fiorentina steak. The legendary Piantina steak. Here we go. Oh, it's huge. And this is the, I think she said it was the Castazzo, which is similar right next to the, the legendary, the famous Florentine steak, possibly even better. Questo mangia parecchio, mangia parecchio dopo di bene la pancia. I think something about a big belly. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Mr. Taster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, and there's still so much meat attached. How do I bite this bone? Oh, no. oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is amazing. The muscle is just completely broken down to the point of it being so tender and juicy. Fatty. Ultra flavorful. Wow. Oh. Oh, wow. You've got to be joking with me. It's like T-bone plus ribs all together in one. Oh, that's insane. Crazy. 
Mm. Okay, this really is the highlight. This is something truly magical in your mouth. Oh. oh man, on the other side of the bone, it tastes totally different. Okay. I'm starting to get the meat sweats. Oh, the digestive meat sweats are hitting me hard right now. Mm. So on this side of the bone, it's pretty much pink. Well, very rare, pretty much raw. On this side of the bone, it's more well cooked. I kind of like taking one bite and alternating bites. But I love that, that juicy, rare meat. Oh. Wow, that's an unbelievable steak. Oh, I think there's... <laughs> Hello, Mr. Danger. Whoa, look at this. Oh, you have a hole in yours. <laughs> <laughs> There's a window. <laughs> a bone hole. <laughs> a bone hole. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> this is the most meat fun you'll ever have. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. Oh, that's pure butter. That melts in your mouth. I'm moving into the potato. The potato to balance all the beef. Mm. Oh, potato is really good. Oh, the flavor of the rosemary in that lardo. Very good. Pizza place. I think this bone is the highlight. I think you could be eating off this bone for days. <laughs> it's a never-ending bone. Oh, yes. Dessert time. Grazie. Coffee? Coffee, yeah. Excellent. That's what I need. We made it through the beef. I'm leaning back. Time for dessert. And for dessert, we're having it's an olive oil cake with coffee. Oh man, if you ever come here, make sure you don't wear a belt. Wear something stretchable and loose. <laughs> olive oil cake, it looks like a really nice texture, really, really spongy. Mm. Oh, it is good, yeah airy, spongy, lemon, like a lemon cake, but made with olive oil. You do need to chase that with some coffee. The sweet cake with the strong coffee is a perfect combination. You want to go do that activity. Mm. Oh, what a meal. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> nicely done, nicely done. <laughs> Dario, yes. Oh. 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 I like the way it feels. <laughs> oh. One moment. Yes. Oh. Carne. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh man, amazing. Amazing. Grazie. <laughs> Let's do one. Oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you. This is the greatest gift ever. Look at this Chianti landscape. It's breathtaking in the evening with the sunset. And man, what just an unbelievable meal. Dario and Kim, they're, I mean, beyond the steak, beyond the meat, beyond the meal. 
It's the entire experience and it's the ultimate hospitality that they give to all of their customers. Everyone that walks in the door is family and they really uh, are incredibly special and that's also what makes it so such an incredible meal. And I'll have all the information in the description box below. It's been an unbelievable, just an incredible time here and totally worth the journey to get here. Also, big thank you to my friend Jeffrey, Mr. Taster, for hanging out, for coming on this journey to uh, La Oficina de la Bisteca in Chianti, in the small town of Panzano in Chianti, in Tuscany, in Italy. And remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And remember to subscribe. You're not going to want to miss all the other food in this ultimate Italian food tour series. Thanks again for watching.